all human beings are migrants. All human beings, just as all animals, are constantly journeying, changing where they're from, looking for food, looking for shelter, looking for places in which they can dwell and live. London is the place for me. London, this lovely city. The stories around London and what people expected to find and what they did find and, uh, and how that ties in with their own identity. And that feels like a theme that a lot of complicity shows have mined in the past. Because every story you tell defines who you are, where you come from, what you do, how you think and how you feel. India, Asia or Australia, but you must come back to London City. And I suppose the proposition to the company that we work in partnership with every year is if you, if you could put anything in this box to inspire uh, young people to make a piece of theatre and devise their own theatre, what, what would it be? The box is huge. <laughs> it's a big, massive wooden box um, and inside are all the ingredients for any school to be able to literally devise their own piece. Trying to give every student a chance to work in the way that complicity might work. So when we're doing a show at Complicity, for example, there's lots of different bits of stimulus that we use. We use sound, we use uh, pictures, uh, books, costumes. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got a ball, we've got some rope, we've got some pens and paper, we've got two wonderful images, we've got a, um, a recording, and we've also got some blank tapes available as well. But it's really important for us as a group to always start with a sense of playing. There you will laugh and talk and enjoy the bridge and admire the beautiful scenery of London. The way that we communicate throughout our lives is through stories. Stories are what make us human. There's almost nobody who can't look back into their family past and in quite the quite recent past find a story of someone travelling from somewhere to the UK to make a new home. We all have our different backgrounds and we all bring in our stories and yeah, more feeling. It's more instead of just being given something, we create our own stories as well. Yeah, it's a different experience because you're telling um, your experience to everyone else that hasn't experienced what you experienced. That the really the basic thing about making a piece of device theatre is that you make it because you have something to say about the subject that you've chosen that no one else is saying and that you can say better than anybody else. And it allows us to like show who we are and how we how we became how we like, who we are. Well believe me, I am speaking broad mindedly. So it's kind of different from working from a play. Because a play, you've got stage directions and you've got like, all of these things that you can use to um, like, help you. But we had to start from scratch and create our characters and create the narrative of the story. Some students will assume when they're making drama that they're going to be getting a play, a script, and they're not, they're getting a box. And they're, the, and they're then being asked to be the authors of that and the makers of that work of art. And we don't underestimate that that's a, a big ask but hopefully one that's infinitely rewarding. Everyone's got a reason and a purpose for making something, so that's what we, that's what we had to find, our reason. What was our message to the audience? And that's what took time, but we got there in the end. Welcome to London! I think you can't quite even measure how um, important it is to have, that, have someone from a professional capacity come in um, and share the working practices. The way Complicity looks at things and everything is really different to the way we would see things. Her input allowed us to, to realise that we have a lot of things, ideas of our own that we can develop. I don't know, like to create maybe a room just using our bodies. She teaches us how to work as a big ensemble and we learn how to work together and just like feel warm and work as a family. Yes. I cannot complain of the time I have spent. They're not just creating this performance in our school, in this classroom, that they'll just do at the end of term and get a grade for. They're getting to take that out into London and to show to other schools and they create their own performance and their own message that they can share publicly. It's very like nerve-wracking but at the same time exciting and like it's an amazing thing to work with such 
company and such people that, that put this b brilliant ideas together and you know you can just add your own pieces to it and it's just amazing. Uh, yeah I can't wait to show all the other schools what we've done. I'm excited and nervous at the same time because we're performing um, to hundreds of people so I can't wait because I've been to the Babacom box to watch a play and I felt the atmosphere and stuff like that so I'm feeling okay. <laughs> They take you here and they take you there and they make you feel like a millionaire. So long. It means something and it means something to Complicita and it means something to Chetna and it means something to the Barbican and, it, mm. and everyone's coming together and it means something to the other schools. Mm. You know, it's kind of like, it's a thrill and excitement to kind of show people what you did. You're, you're proud of yourself. Like, yeah, you're proud of yourself for going through the whole journey and actually creating it from scratch. <laughs> I hope that it's a special moment performing here at the Barbican uh, and critically that that is just the beginning of your relationship with theatre, with the arts, with creative processes and of course with the Barbican itself. Mm -hmm.